Hey folks, Matt from artoftheimage.com. So I wanted to discuss the new Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II that's out. That's uh, replacing the uh, G1X. So now we have the Mark II. Um, not a lot of differences between these cameras and I wasn't particularly overwhelmed with the first one. Um, so I'm gonna go over what are the main five differences, what they've, what they've changed with the Mark II. And, um, and then I'm gonna invite you guys in the comments below if you think these differences are enough to make you consider this, uh, is this an irrelevant camera to you? Um, what do you feel about the Mark II? So let's discuss the five differences. The five biggies are, number one, uh, it's got twin control dials now on the, on the lens. So you got one control dial, which is going to uh, give you smooth control over features such as manual focus. Um, and then you got a second control dial which features click stops. So it's kind of has that notched feel as you're turning it. And that's for settings such as aperture or things like that. So that's, that's an advantage I think over the original um, G1X. Number two, we've got, um, I don't know if this is an advantage, they're kind of trying to spin it that way, but they've totally remo removed the viewfinder. So basically what they're saying is with the changes they've made to the body, the, the size and whatnot, that there's no longer room for the viewfinder. Um, so basically you're going to spend $7.99 on a compact camera that now has no viewfinder, which I think might be a point of contention for some people. Uh, although you could look at it as the viewfinder, the little, uh, tunnel type viewfinder that was on the original, uh, G1X. Most people didn't think much of it anyways. So perhaps it's not a big deal that it's gone. Um, there is going to be an optional, uh, electronic unit available. I think it's around $300, which for an already fairly pricey compact camera, now you got to spend another 300 bucks to get an electronic viewfinder. So we'll see how this goes, how this works for Canon with their marketing idea on this. I kind of think uh, that's it's a bit of a, a problem there. Um, but let's continue on. So that was number two. Number three, we have a new lens, f2.0 to 3.9. So a significantly faster lens, about uh, one stop faster throughout the range, which is welcome. Um, and this has, this lens has a good range. It's about equivalent to a 24 to 120 millimeter. So definitely an improvement there in the lens and uh, a welcome one. We always appreciate, especially in a compact camera, having a faster lens uh, with better, uh, faster aperture on it as opposed to a slower lens um, throughout the zoom range. Number four uh, is, is subjective and perhaps to be seen, but they're saying that it has the focusing speed has been improved on the Mark II versus the original G1X. So, um, should focus better. Uh, and I think that was a significant complaint with a lot of people on the original G1X. So let's see if that in, in, indeed is the case because it certainly was something that needed to be addressed and hopefully it has. Number five is a new sensor. Um, it, they're, they're claiming a new sensor, but it's basically the same size within, you know, a tad of a millimeter. So. Is it really a new sensor or just, uh, you know, slightly changed? That remains to be seen. They are saying it's a new one. We'll have to see how it performs. Does it give us significant advantages over the original or not? Uh, but those are the five features that are different, are supposed to be improvements over the original G1X. So what do you think? Um, with this, these, these enhancements, these updates to the G1X Mark II, um, would they make you consider the G1X? Is this a camera you might be interested in? Is the G1X Mark II still not a camera that interests you at all as did the Mark the, the original not, not interest you as myself? Because it's just too much money for what it offers. I can get so much more out of a Micro Four Thirds system or in, you know, I'm happier with the DSLR system at that price. That's my feelings. Do you agree? What do you think? Let's have a discussion. Leave your comments below. What do you think about the new features? And uh, is the camera of any interest to you? Thanks for tuning in, folks. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with some new videos, some new articles. Keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.